Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you don't know me, I'm Lara, and today I am gonna be showing you guys how to style your IKEA picture rails. Now, if you know my channel and you know me, then you will know that I have been working on my home office space for quite some time, and I've absolutely loved seeing everything come together. I feel like this is one of the final finishing touches and I'm so, so pleased with it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and do give me a like if you did like it and I would absolutely love it if you came along and subscribed to my channel for more videos like this. Anyway, let's get on and show you how I styled these shelves. So we just marked three holes in the wall according to where the screws were going to go and then we just simply drilled in to the wall with a wall plug to secure it for the weight and then made sure that it was straight before we measured up and then just screwed three normal screws in there and then they came with this little white dot which you can just use to cover up that hole which I think is really nice because you don't want ugly screw holes showing and then the shelf was nice and secure so I could start designing what I wanted to display then I just chose a selection of things that I wanted to be put up on my wall as you know, I love these Desineo prints that they had to make an appearance. And I just added a few little things that I've had collecting around the my office space that I knew I wanted to display. And then it was the fun part, and that was designing it. So the shelf has got a ledge in here, which means you can actually balance your frames and they won't go anywhere. So I really love this peachy one, which is, I like to think it's a peony, but I don't know if it is, but I just absolutely adore peonies. So that definitely had to make an appearance. And then I just dotted some other frames around. I love the gold because it picks up on all my gold details. And then my very first magazine cover. And then I just thought I would dot a few other ornaments around. What's great is that you can actually put one to the back and then have one in front if you wanted. There's so many different configurations for this shelving unit, but I think I'm gonna have them separate like that. And that one back there. And then my Kate Spade candle there. And I think I'm really happy with that. So as you can see, I have got quite an array of things on this shelf. If you know me and you've read my blog or my Instagram, you'll know that I absolutely love a Desineo print. Now, these are actually all from Desineo, and I've mentioned them before because I absolutely love them. Not only do they have really good artwork on there, they have like nice inspiring quotes and like funny things. So I've really liked bringing together some of the theming around the room, and that's the peachy tones and the green leafy tones, and then with the touches of gold as well in the frame. So I feel like you can completely express yourself when it comes to these shelves. I have got lots of quote pictures up. I absolutely love this one which is called Balance and I just think it's so apt because I need to really kind of remind myself of this now and again and not work too hard and just enjoy the moment and being with my children. I love this over here because I cannot cope in the morning unless I've had my tea or my coffee. And then things like this, this do more of what makes you happy. It's, it's similar to the balance print. And I just think it's really important to keep that in mind and just remind myself of that. I love this. This is from uh, Next and it's just a simple L letter and the flamingo as well because I wanted to bring a kind of touch of tropical into this room. As you can see here, I've got this beautiful pinky toned print which ties in beautifully to the colours of the room. And I've just used these two roses from Ikea and used this really cool cactus uh, vase which is from Primark and this one as well which is I think Ikea and it's just like a marble design but I just love them and I love having fresh flowers but sometimes it's nice just to have something all year round that I know it's going to stay alive all the time. Um, this as well, Dream, I just think it's a really nice print to kind of remind me just to keep believing in my dreams. And then this is something that I wanted to display because it was my first magazine piece that I wrote for Absolutely Mama. And it's my beauty notes here. So I designed this whole page and did all the copy myself. So I was really proud of that. And I just love actually it matches the colours of my room. So that is there as my first magazine piece. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this has turned out and I just absolutely love that there's so much choice on the Destinaire website. So I really love how I've been able to just keep my personality within the room and just design it how I want it and I love the colours and how it all ties everything in together. It just shows a bit of personality and I had so many knickknacks you may have seen from one of my haul videos 
I had so many knickknacks and I didn't really have anywhere to put them. My desk was getting really full up. So now they are proudly presented up on the shelving. And what I love is that I can just change up according to my mood. If I want to put different prints there, then I can do. I've got so many different prints that I could put up there. And you can just change them around whenever you like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was informative and gave you some ideas if you're also looking to design your own picture rail. These are the longer version, which I think are 115mm. No, that would be really small, 115 centimetres, and they were 8.95 from Ikea, and I've seen so many hacks on these as well, which I love watching hack videos for Ikea, and they can be turned upside down for all different things around the house, so I think they've got so many uses, but I love them in this traditional sense up on the wall. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, do give it a like if you liked it, and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!